Hey everybody. Just want to do a quick video of some stuff I picked up uh, Saturday and Sunday while I was out yard sales and state sales and things like that and a couple flea markets and things. First I'm going to show you this. It's pretty cool. It's a tool. It lights up, you know, magnifies. I think it would be good for like a medical kit to look up your nose, throat, ears, whatever. So I'm going to put that in my medical kit. Pretty cool. It's a Titan tool supply. Something or another. I got it for uh, 10 bucks. I don't know what they cost, but it was 10 bucks. I took a chance. I got this case vault here. Waterproof case vault. It's in good shape and seals real good. I got it for 3 bucks. It had a $27.99 price tag on it. I guess where they paid for it. I got this scope here. I got it for 15 bucks. It's in good shape. Thought it was a good deal. It's actually at a state sale Sunday, which everything was half price, so it was like 30 and I got it for 15 I got this thing right here. This is cool. I like this. I'm probably end up selling it because I can make money on it, but it's a Kestrel 4000. It's a weather, um, pocket weather tracker. And it does the wind and everything. Pretty cool. Wind, temperature, everything. It's it probably good for shooting if you was trying to judge wind or whatever. But I'll probably sell it because it sells for like a hundred bucks, hundred and thirty bucks used on eBay, and I only gave uh, forty dollars for it. So I'll make some money on it and use it for something else if I don't decide to keep it. Then I got the Nikon Laser 600 with the case, no paperwork or anything. But this thing right here sells for about a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars um, used. So I already got some of these. I got a bush nail over there. So I'll probably sell this one too. And I got it for fifty bucks. So I'll double my money. I got a few silver rounds. Uh actually I got one silver round and I got four silver eagles. I got them for twenty five apiece. Put them in my stash or whatever. You know, I can take them and get 32 for them right now, whatever it is. So I, I, I didn't lose. Then I got a bunch of 90% silver. This was all in a box. And the guy told me that the silver dollars were 15 a piece. And then everything else was $10 on the dollar. So I bought it all. I could scrap them for like, I don't know, $12 a piece, I think it is right now, whatever. I haven't checked silver today, but. So I'm, I'll make money if I decide to get rid of that. Got a old Made in Korea mess kit. Got the pot and everything. What I'm going to do is throw it in my extra supplies in case somebody comes around or something. Or if I go hiking or camping or something and nobody's got one. I'll give them that. Not a problem. No big deal. I gave a dollar for it. I bought a gun sock for a dollar. Brand new. Paid a dollar for it. Bought this brand new Garcia 5600 BCX fishing reel. It's never been used brand new for 10 bucks. I don't like a bait caster. Probably put it on eBay or somewhere. I don't know. But I looked them up today and they sell for like 40 bucks. So making money to buy more preps is what I'm doing. Now this one, this thing, I found one today. This is a a Garcia. And it's the it was made in Sweden. It's the high speed striper. And I think it's the 6500, yeah. And you know, I only gave $10 for that. And it was on a rod. The rod was kind of raggedy. And I said, How much is that? And the guy said, Just 10 bucks. So I took a chance on it. I figured, you know, if I sold for 20 or whatever, I doubled my money, made some money, more prepping, more money for me. Man, I found one banged up that was banged all to pieces. And it sold for $142. So I'm thinking if I got a hundred, hey, ten times my money, can't go wrong. Flipping preps. Then I, I got this coin right here. That's an old uh I think German or something. I can't remember. I looked it up. But it sells for like forty-five dollars and I got it for five dollars. So making money. Then I got this older uh Eagle fish finder. For ten bucks, 
don't have the bracket, but I got it for ten bucks. I either use it or I'll sell it. I looked it up too. It sells for like forty dollars, so I made money. And some of this stuff I was looking up from my phone while I was at the sale. Then I got the mag light for a dollar. He said he couldn't find the spring on the inside for the butt end of it, but it is inside. It was slid up. So I, you know, after I bought it, I said, "Well, I got you know mag lights everywhere. I can find a spring or buy a spring." So it was worth for a dollar. But anyway. That's it really. Oh, I got one more thing. I got this uh, case here. It's a Zero by Halliburton. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And it's a, hey, it's aluminum construction, waterproof. It's not tore up or anything inside. And it's a hard case, so I figured, hey, I might use it to Oh man. See, we got the chain hooks on it for the handcuffs. It's like back in the day, you know, presidential. You know, Mr. President. <laughs> anyway, but I got it for five bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. I, I'll store something in it. You know, it's a tough, rugged case, waterproof. Come in handy for something. You know, I'm a hoarder, but I'm a hoarder of neat things. So remember that. But that's it. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Sorry it was so long. I've got a few things. I'll probably do a review of the these couple things um, on my other channel, Guns Gadgets Prepared. If you haven't checked that channel out yet, please do so. It's going to be some good stuff coming up on that channel. A lot of reviews and stuff. And not to sell it to you, but to show you what I think about it. Nobody's going to pay me to do it or anything. I'm just going to do it to show you what I think about something. If it's rough, if it's tough, if it's junk, if it's good, so on and so forth. A lot of people like to see some stuff put through the test. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Hope y'all enjoyed your holiday weekend. See you next time.